a lot of fishermen still come around here, but uh, you know, the pleasure boating, I'd say it's four or five people on a weekend, you know, at any given time. But in the, in the years since we, oh, <laughs> look at that, Lindsay. That in Michigan. I'm not a snake guy at all. I do not like snakes. I wake up every single day like I'm already on my way. I pick the car up from Valet. I'm Tyler Miller with MCON and MCON Racing. We're here in Wafina, Kansas, on site of our uh, headquarters of our construction company, MCON. Morning. I'm gonna get you guys on camera real quick here. Oh, yay. Yeah. You know, it all started with uh, digging, digging in the dirt okay. and uh, it's, it's built good. from there. Take care of him, whatever you do. Keep an eye on him. <laughs> Directional guided drilling, underground utility, uh, main emphasis contractor. So drilling solid rock and stuff like that. That's that's what the inside the O of, of MCON, that's a that's a rock bit and, and that's what that's what started it all. So this is the levee system that protects us when the river gets up. Okay. So the river that I grew up boating on and pulling Lindsay on a tube on, you know, when it gets out of hand, this is the levee system that protects Wafina, basically. Uh, At an early so age, I started uh, boating on the Missouri River. I used to ride my bicycle from here in Wafina out to uh, what we call the River Road, wait on the docks for somebody to give me a ride. Well, this is starts the River Road. This is where I would ride my bicycle on the weekends. And How much has this town changed in? 30 years. Not 30 very years. much. Not very much. Honestly, it, it honestly hasn't. It used to be a set of docks, um, a ramp come out right right around this pole area. There was a set of docks that set out here. If you can believe it or not, like, like you see at the docks at Lake of the Ozarks where all the boats are rafted off each other, there was a dock here that's about 100 feet long and there might be seven or eight boats stacked out into the river and, and eight or 10 deep, you know, 18, 20 foot boats, you could stack a lot of them in there. Oh, but. Yeah. Uh, now you know where it all started, right here. I mean, that's uh, that's a little different life than than our boating life now. Yeah, you know. What was your experience with your first kind of really high performance boat? Do you remember that? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll never forget it. We were actually uh, visiting Lake of the Ozarks. My cousin Brett, he had, uh, he had a brand new 36, 38 foot Sea Ray that he had purchased. He had been at the lake for four or five years. And these uh, go fast boats were going up and down the lake and he said, I want one of those. He actually traded his Sea Ray for what was then the recovery skater, 40 skater. Uh, beautiful boat. Took us for a ride that summer. He let me uh, get behind the wheel. I ran the boat up to about 75 mile an hour and was shaking, was nervous, and didn't know what I was doing. And I'll never forget, he reached over and grabbed my hand in the sticks and, and shoved the throttle forward and the rest is history. I mean, that's, that, was, that was all it took. So when I first started thinking about offshore racing, we were at Lake Race and uh, the Supercats came charging down the first straightaway coming to turn one. Cleveland Construction went around the turn one and I'm like, wow, construction people can have 
boats like that. And, uh, and so that's what started it all. I said, someday, someday I'm going to do that. Well, it was kind of a shock when he bought that first boat and I forget recovery and he'd take us out in that thing and go about 130 mile an hour, 140. And, and we kind of got a feeling for what he was into, you know, so. With Brett backing me on the, uh, on the split on the recovery boat and then lots of lots of rough times talking to my wife to get her convinced to uh to let me go for it 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 uh we, we worked i i'm not gonna lie i do worry about him um you know he's the father of my our four kids so and my best friend not just on Sunday jumping in the boat and going out and running 10, 12, 15 laps, whatever it may be. Everything that leads up to it. All of the research and development stuff that we try to do on the back, back side that a lot of people don't, don't see. You wanna pull the merchandise for this stuff between everybody, you know. So yeah, May 12, 2022, Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, the boat was just pulled out of the rigging shop. Transportation specialist, who's gonna tip it over? Uh, Craig Antmeyer here, going 97 around a roundabout, but uh, man, the guys worked hard. 40, we figured it out. 40, 40 consecutive days today to get it to where it's at. We're about to, we're about to baptize it in Lake of the Ozarks and, and see what she's got. Exciting stuff. Six, seven, eight, nine. The team itself, Saturday morning, bright and early, through Sunday at the checkered flag is a hundred percent game ready game faces and, and still one big family everybody works together um, everybody knows their part and and gels very well so nothing's changed a lot of anticipation at this moment you think that, you know, it's like you're gonna pull it out and just go right and fire it up. You run into a little gremlin here or, uh, you know, a wire crossed here. So when you have, you know, two, three, four guys working on something for uh, 36 days straight, there's gonna be something wrong. I know she's gonna be fast, so I'm not worried about that. Crankcase pressure should be zero. Yeah, but it's constant. It should be zeroed out and he said There's he no crankcase pressure right now. You know what I'm saying? Having Myrick Cole in the boat, I mean, dream come true. His ingenuity and his ability to understand what a boat's doing, um, it's second to none of anybody I've been with. I mean, he just, he knows instantly what's going on. You know, he puts the boat in the right spot. Um, he's got four kids at home too, so he doesn't, he just doesn't take the chances and the risk. He, we, we figure out a way to, to win and get around people and, and be safe, so. Uh, You've obviously raced with a lot of people over the years. Tell me how Tyler compares or differs. He gets more jacked up than most that I've been with. Uh, uh, he wears his heart on his sleeve, so you can tell it. And, and with his uh, background being a football player and stuff like that, you can tell that he really gets himself amped up uh, before. But then once the uh, green flag goes, he, he calms down and it becomes more businesslike. Jake's 24-ish, I believe now, maybe 25. And, and to see what he's been able to, to adapt to and to overcome a lot of the issues that, that are involved with racing um, he's, uh, he's come along very well. So today is the first official test day of MCON, the new 388 skater. Uh, it's our second time out. Uh, first time out went well. It was a, a hard um, time. It's, it's hard to believe that, you know, you can get paid for going and doing and seeing all the things that you do, um, especially with great people by your side. That's really what matters. We're very blessed to have uh, some awesome people around, like the Millers, so. And we started adding to the team. We now have Craig Antmeyer that does all the transportation work. 
I hate interviews, by the way. Go ahead. Uh, my name's Craig Ammeyer. Um, I work with them kind of. I haul the boat to all the races, um, get everything ready in the trailer, um, and uh, work on the port engine. He's mechanically inclined background, out. so he jumps in the builds. They each have their side. They work great together. Um, you know, and so the more you add to the team, um, you know, as far as vehicles, equipment, scooters, motorcycles, the more people you got to have to to corral all that stuff and get it get it out and about. I am Chelsea Antmeyer. I am Craig Antmeyer's wife. He is on the crew. My jobs consist of helping the guys every morning, getting all of the small details handled so that they can work on the engines. I'm kind of the tool nurse, get them everything that they need. What's it like having your wife be part of the team too? It's rough, you know. Always boss me around. I thought I'd get away with it, you know, if I leave her, but no. No, she's good. She's a lot of help. She helps Lindsay out a lot. They're real good friends and it's a small group, but we get everything done and get everything looking good and it's great. I love it. I am Sydney Lecklider. I am newly married to the crew chief. Um, basically do all their apparel, all the graphics. So, I mean, you saw laying the wrap this morning, basically making us look good. <laughs> Well, tell us about Jamie, your sister-in-law, and maybe a little bit about the loss and how it uh, kind of affected your family. When she was diagnosed in 2018 with the triple negative, and it was a, a big blow, I think, to our to our family and a shock. Uh, we weren't prepared for that. We wear her badge on our on our jerseys. Um, she's a, she's across the boat, and you know it's it's just something that that, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know that you can ever overcome it, you know. Um, she, um, she's missed. She's missed. Tyler's been our rock after we lost Jamie that, you know, it was very hard, but Tyler and Lindsay have done everything for us and they're there every second. It's, it's been, it's been very heartwarming the the amount of people that have come up and 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 asked and we talk about it and you know all the um, all the life experiences that other people have with breast cancer has has really come to light as well. We keep telling you know she's here she's with you she's got the best seat in the house so um, she's definitely a, a guardian angel for sure yeah. She was always a nervous wreck when he was racing. <laughs> Yeah, they loved each other. He'd take a hammer to her Barbie house and beat it up, but. <laughs> you know, we want to keep shedding light on, on this horrible disease that's out there. And, uh, and that's, that's, you know, keep her memory alive. I woke up feeling like this gonna be my day. I got that popping fire every step I take. There are people. Family. Yep. I always, we joke, we call them mom and dad. <laughs> they treat us like their own kids. They would do, they'd go to the end of the earth. He takes everything serious and um, professional, very professional. Holding the side of the boat 10 foot long, he's, he's gonna be the one to keep going. I, you know, say, hey, you got a bilge pump light on? Nope, green light, we're good. So it's, it's keep going. He just doesn't quit, doesn't quit. Because of an owner and a throttle man, you know, somebody might think, you know, if we did put a hired gun in there, you could be better. That, that's, not, that's not the case with Tyler. He's humble. He's a very humble guy. He's simply amazing. He just covers every aspect from the construction world to the racing world. It's racing family, lotto family, or our home here family, MCON family. Um, being around any of them makes him happy. He's he's always thinking about others versus himself. I don't really 
time in my career, I had an uncle that told me, don't ever lose sight of your business. Don't ever lose sight of the family. And, and so I've tried to, tried to continue down that road. It's, it's my goal in life every day. Um, you know, never lose sight, whether it's the, the sight of uh, looking forward for your family, protecting them, or whether it's, it's crossing the finish line with the checkered flag. That's something that I've instilled in, in my day-to-day -day life, and uh, that's what keeps me in the lead. She'll be on the boat as long as I'm racing.